there are numerous legends about cursed or haunted objects. These items often bring negative effects on the owner's finances, health, and even their life. Some owners of these objects have fearfully recounted that they have witnessed demonic apparitions and horrifying scenes reminiscent of horror movies right within their own homes. 1. Elmo Stuffed Bear The Elmo Stuffed Bear became popular starting from 1996. It became a coveted toy for every child. These plush toys all have a chip inside them, programmed to call their owner's name. However, not all Elmo Stuffed Bears are cute. In 2008, a two-year-old boy named James Bowman had an Elmo bear that did more than just say his name. It also uttered the words, Kill James. Even after turning off and then turning the bear back on, it continued to sing, Kill James. In the end, the boy's mother had to dispose of the teddy bear from their home. 2. Hope Diamond one of the most valuable gemstones in the world is the Hope Diamond, which is currently on display at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History. It's a stunning blue diamond weighing over 45 carats. Despite its small size, it holds a value of approximately $1.20, 25 billion US dollars. There is a curse associated with anyone who wears this gemstone, claiming that they will encounter significant misfortune. There are stories of owners committing suicide, being murdered, and losing their wealth through terrible investments. Those who have come into contact with the Hope Diamond have experienced failed marriages, tragic deaths of children, drug addiction, and mental illness. 3. The Busby Chair Thomas Busby was a petty thief and a drunkard. In 1702, Busby murdered his father-in-law, Daniel, just because Daniel accidentally sat on Busby's favorite chair. Later on, Busby was caught and sentenced to death. Before his execution, he cursed that anyone who sat or touched the chair would die a horrific death. Many years later, some people, not believing in the curse, dared to sit on the chair. Soon after, within a few days, they met strange and unexplainable accidents leading to their deaths. The final victim was a delivery man who died in a car accident just hours after sitting on the cursed chair. Today, the chair is kept at the Thirsk Museum in North Yorkshire, suspended over a meter off the ground to ensure the safety of everyone. 4. The Crying Boy Painting Spanish artist Bruno Amadio, also known as Giovanni Bragolin, gained fame in the 1950s as a prominent painter. What brought him recognition was a series of portraits depicting crying children. The mysterious story of the curse surrounding the Crying Boy painting began in September 1985, when The Sun, a renowned British newspaper, reported a series of unexplained fires spreading across the UK. Particularly noteworthy was that the locations of these fires all had the Crying Boy painting hanging inside the houses. According to accounts from firefighters and victims, in all the fire incidents, everything within the houses was consumed by flames, except for the untouched copies of the Crying Boy painting. 5. The Hands Resist Him Painting In the painting, The Hands Resist Him by Bill Stoneham, a young boy and his doll are standing in front of a glass panel door covered with eerie hands. What adds to the eerie nature of this painting is that both art critics and owners of the painting have reportedly died shortly after coming into contact with it. But that's not all. Many owners of the painting have recounted that the figures within the artwork move at night, crawling out of the painting to engage in mischievous and disruptive behavior. Eventually, the painting was sold to a man named Kim Smith in Grand Rapids, Michigan, USA. It was kept in Mr. Smith's art room. However, this man mentioned that he never experienced anything strange happening in connection with the painting. 6. Tomb of Tutankhamun In 1922, archaeologist Howard Carter and his team discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun, the greatest ancient Egyptian pharaoh in the Valley of the Kings. This tomb is believed to be under the most ominous curse. It was rumored that anyone who entered the tomb would suffer a tragic fate.
George Herbert, the fifth Earl of Carnarvon and the financial backer of the Tutankhamun excavation, died under mysterious circumstances. He succumbed to blood poisoning from a mosquito bite. Some reports even claim that when Herbert passed away, all the lights in his house inexplicably went out. Furthermore, there was the case of Hugh Evelyn White, a British Egyptologist and one of the first individuals present at Tutankhamun's tomb, who committed suicide in 1924. He left a note written in blood that said, I cannot stand the curse any longer. I'm going to disappear. There are also many other deaths and strange occurrences attributed to the alleged curse from Tutankhamun's tomb. 7. Iceman Another mummy believed to carry a terrifying curse is Otzi, the Iceman. Despite having died in 3300 BCE, his presence continues to haunt to this day. He is the oldest naturally preserved mummy in Europe, discovered in 1991 in the Otztal Alps of Italy. Initially, researchers believed he died due to exposure to harsh weather conditions for too long. However, further examination revealed that he died from blood loss caused by a fatal arrow wound to the head. The rumors of a curse surrounding this mummy began when those who discovered it died under mysterious circumstances. It has claimed seven lives, including a forensic scientist, a mountaineer, and those involved in the initial discovery. Otzi is currently on display at the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Bolzano, Italy. 8. The Porsche 550 car of the famous actor James Dean. The Little Bastard is the name of the silver Porsche 550 Spider belonging to the famous American actor James Dean. While working on the movie Rebel Without a Cause, James Dean upgraded his Porsche 356 to a 550 Spider, intending to make it a unique and distinctive car. The car indeed stood out, but Dean was warned by an individual not to drive it in the coming week, as they felt a strong sense of impending doom emanating from the little bastard. However, James Dean brushed off the warning. Strangely enough, precisely seven days later, Dean tragically died in a horrifying accident while driving his beloved car. Following the accident, the car was sold for parts, and the curse of the car began. A mechanic who bought one of the wheels broke his leg shortly thereafter. Then an individual who purchased the engine of the car died in a car accident. Another person who acquired the damaged transmission was severely injured in an accident. The tires sold from the little bastard all blew out simultaneously sending their new owners to the hospital. Finally, a truck carrying the car's chassis was involved in a collision, resulting in the driver's death. 9. The Bassano Vaz The Bassano Vaz, carved in the 15th century and originating from Italy, was lost to obscurity for a long period before being discovered in 1988. According to legend, in the 15th century this silver vase was a gift received by a bride the day before her wedding. However, on the wedding night, the bride was murdered and the vase was found in her lifeless hands. Upon its discovery, many felt a shiver down their spine when they read the eerie inscription. Beware, this vase brings death. There were widespread rumors that those who purchased the Bassano vase within a span of three months would die. Initially auctioned, the Bassano vase was owned by someone who, only a few months later, passed away suddenly. The vase changed hands to a new owner, and the new owner of the vase faced a similarly tragic fate as the previous one. Eventually, the Italian police decided to seize the vase and bury it in an undisclosed location. 10. The Dibbuk Wine Cabinet This artifact is rumored to contain the malevolent spirit of a deceased individual, and the cabinet is used to prevent this spirit from infiltrating and possessing the body of the living. However, in 2003, a man named Kevin Manis acquired ownership of the Dibbuk box from an auction. 
He described that inside the box were two strands of hair, a piece of granite, a withered rosebud, a small statue, two old pennies, a candle holder, and finally a hungry and resentful spirit. Shortly after, Kevin Manis put the Dibbuk box up for sale on eBay, and a curious buyer purchased it. The first buyer immediately ran into trouble when he gifted it to his mother. The poor woman suddenly suffered a stroke and died shortly after receiving the gift. Since then, the cabinet has changed hands among several owners, and no one dares to open it again, even for a brief moment. <laughs>